since the inception of Julie's Bake Shop in 1981. And for the said years, patuloy ang sarap ng buhay sa Tinapay. Let's take a look back at the significant highlights of the last 40 years. Miss Julie Gandionco opened the very first Julie's Bake Shop on January 6 in Wireless, Mandawi City. She was then 50 years old when she ventured into the business. Armed with the courage and support of her family, she opened the next branch six months later in Orhelio, Cebu City. As testament to the strict standard being followed by the store, Julie's received a citation from the mayor's office as the cleanest bake shop in Cebu. The same protocols are still strictly implemented until now to guarantee the Julie's standard quality of food and service. Third branch opened in Cabrera Street, Cebu City, which paved the way to CEO and President Opet Gandionco to officially become the first second generation to own a store. As the business continued to grow, a central warehouse was established. After seven years, the very first Julie's Bake Shop was established outside Cebu. Ten years after, the first fully franchised store opened in Camiguin Island. Upon reaching 200 stores, the Julie's Franchise Corporation was organized. Reaching 210 branches, Julie's became the country's largest bake shop chain. Wow, Julie's! Kasama mo sa pagkat ang Julie's nagbibigay lakas sa Pilipino. To support Julie's Luzon operations, its first warehouse in Pasig was opened in 2001. It was then followed by the Davao Warehouse to serve Mindanao stores. A fourth warehouse opened in Cagayan de Oro in 2010. Julie's continues to innovate throughout the years to cater more to its customers. A mobile van was launched to deliver breads, hot and fresh, directly to its customers in 2003. To make its presence known to the masses, a tri-media advertising was launched with Symphony as the first Julie's television commercial in 2004. And Larry Alcala's Slice of Life and Noel Cabangon's Narian Kalang sa Tabi composition in 2006. In 2012, the radio program Usapang Pandesal was born in Veritas Radio, talking about entrepreneurship and pandesal, which aim to educate the masses to go into the bread business. Julie's string of success extended to the millennium, receiving numerous accolades from colleagues and the business industry. Outstanding small and medium scale entrepreneur, outstanding Filipino franchise of the year, Hall of Fame Award Outstanding Filipino Franchise of the Year Best Practices in Corporate Social Responsibility 10 Outstanding Filipino Retailers Best in Franchising Support MVP Bossing Awarding Best Bakery Chain of 2016 Throughout the years of success, Julie's has adapted to change and made room for improvements as it reached its 500th store in 2008 Gusu Sambuanga City. In 2010, its logo was redesigned to make it fresh and modern. 2011 gave way to a partnership with the World Food Program with its Fighting Hunger campaign. And the very first Bulilit Kiosk was launched to reach new communities and markets. On its 35th year, the National Pandesal Day in January was celebrated. In 2018, 
the second commissary producing the low line opened in Cebu. The pandemic may have affected the world, but Julie's remained strong and will go on servicing the nation and its people. Julie's helped the community with the Bigay Tinapay initiative, supporting our frontliners and communities. With two new franchises, 37 new stores, and the launch of Julie's Delivers and Julie's Reseller Program. On its 40th year, Julie's promises to deliver a great life dependent on bread that is filling, tasty, and fresh. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up, guys? And uh, good morning, good morning. Uh, you know, watching that video really makes you have goose pim pimples, actually. Goosebumps, sabi <laughs> nila. You know, because uh, how can a big shop, a woman started the business at 50 years old and now growing the business to almost 600 branches and now with a third generation imagine guys say hey guys what well, look at this this guy that we are going to introduce is a golfer he's a golfer if you have read about yuka and bianca this is the male version and uh, he took his scholarship by the way in the u.s and just playing golf amazing right so let's welcome What's up, Kernan? How are you doing today? Hey, hey, hey. Good day. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us today. No? And hello, Gio. Yes, <laughs> and uh, that's Gio. Gio, good morning. How are morning. you from Cebu? How are you, Gio? I'm good. It's quite a rainy day here this morning. Actually, it was raining very hard, but uh, I think it's looking a lot better now. <laughs> Wow, that's a good blessing, huh? Because you're going to have your uh, vi their air meet interview with us. Usapang business. Lamo Gio, um, can you tell us something about your being golfer? Because nowadays people are talking about you, Cub, uh, Bianca. What about Gio, the golfer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I started playing very young. Um, I think at the age of five years old. Uh, my dad actually taught me how to play golf. I used to watch him in our backyard, um, just do a couple of practice swings. And eventually, I started getting really serious uh, playing golf. I started joining some small tournaments at the age of six, seven. And uh, I really loved it. So I started competing um, within Cebu and then competing nationally. Um, eventually, I, I, I qualified for the Philippine team. Um, played in several events as a junior golfer, part of the Philippine team, and competed outside um, in the U.S. And that's how I was able to uh, get my golf scholarship in Santa Clara University. So does it mean that you're always playing golf, uh, Gio, uh, while you were studying in the U.S.? Yes, every day. <laughs> um, oh, we yeah, we would travel for tournaments. Um, while still studying and taking our exams on the road. Oh, Panian, Panian, uh, Kernan, it's too late. I wish we were as at the age of Gio, right? At oh, five my. Years old, imagine. I remember somebody at the age of four who started playing. Is that uh, uh, the famous, who's that? Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. So, um, okay, wow, my God. Grabe pala itong ating kausap ngayon. Hindi lang third generation, golfer pa talaga. Oo nga eh. I, I'm just starting out on golf and my 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 son uh, started uh, kumbaga, practicing at the age of right now, eight. So so it's three years late uh, compared to Gio, but uh, I hope uh, he'd learn fast. But the, the, <laughs> ano nga eh, the, the pro told me that Itong mga bata uh, retains the ano the uh, yung 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 stroke uh, na alala nila no yung stroke na na uh, training practices which is good I think uh, it's I, I'm I'm inspired on uh, uh, hearing what Gio has ano uh, <laughs> dinaada ni Gio oh teka bago bago ang golf eh, eh bago tayo pumunta sa ating pakay talaga eh Ano ba talaga ang karakteristik ng isang golfer, Gio? I mean, marami mga golfer ang 
Uh, when I say golfer, yung talagang golf uh, kerna na, hindi yung golf, 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 ha? Oo nga. <laughs> Oo, yung uh, tinood na golf. Yes, yes. Okay. Ano ba karakteristik, Gio? Yeah. Well, they say golf is 90% mental, no? So, uh, a golfer really has to be mentally strong and obviously calm under pressure. Kasi it's different, no? Than the other sports, golf is a very slow sport compared to the other sports. So you have to be calm and focused. No? So even the best players, the, the players who play on the PGA Tour, um, you know, they make mistakes, but their their mental game is very strong, and that's why they're very good no? at that at that level. So that means, uh, Yana, that's a one lesson from Gio. Angelo, Gio. Angelo, ang galing ng pangalan niya, no? Angelo. Talagang mukhang looks angel, ha? Huh? Uh, very <laughs> angelic. But anyway, let's go back to uh, the question of transition. Alam mo, Julius is now celebrating its 40th year and I'm really so honored na pinagbigyan tayo ni your dad, si Opep Kajonko. And together with the cooperation of Mark, your national marketing, who's watching actually, who's part here. And also I see, I see Patrice, 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 uh, Patrice and Dominic. Okay. Um, ano ba talaga ang transition ng uh, third generation? Uh, because a lot of family members or a lot of family businesses are are in the Philippines. In fact, mostly, right? Like Kernan. Yeah. Ano ba talaga ang uh, challenges now that you are the second transition of the third generation, correct? Ano ano nakikita mong uh, sa challenges, Gio? Yeah. Well, um, first, obviously, a family working together is is quite challenging, you know, because you're together at home most of the time, but you're also together at work. So the dynamics of working together is definitely different, you know, keeping the, the work uh, relationship and keeping the family relationship as well. Um, when we transitioned, when our generation um, joined the company, there was actually no proper um, structure, no. I mean, it was it was a challenge, right? Um, but over the over the years, or, or um, when when we joined in, my dad, who was CEO and is still CEO right now, his goal was for us to rotate around the business units, the the departments, so that we we can fully learn and grasp what the business really is right? before we actually get into a big role within the company. So. Um, that's really how we transitioned and sort of learned the ins and outs of, of uh, the business as well. Ah, very good. And, um, you know, I'd like to say good morning to Carl Borromeo, uh, also watching. Uh, he's a consultant on strategic uh, human development in Cebu. Uh, Cebuano ba niya, no? And Myla and Leah Sales, I'd like to say hi to them. Good morning to all. Uh, si Ray good Marcus morning, there. good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. So, Kernan, ikaw, how can you relate to this? Uh, first generation ka pa ngayon. Oh, so. Well, y- yun nga eh. And, um, the, uh, while on the backstage, it, it was um, when I asked Gio, it was one of those um, worry uh, feeling no, for first generation entrepreneurs like myself. No, having set up like uh, an IT business and a logistics company, uh, what will I do to to make sure that my son would somehow uh, be able to to learn, no, take over the business soon? So that those are the things that sometimes makes me ano eh, uh, have insomnia. <laughs> no, uh, it, it's really worrying, no, Gio, um, Sir Butch. Uh, on my part, of course, so for you guys in in Julie's, which of course I'm I'm a big fan. Uh, I, I'd like love to mention that I eat Julie's almost every day, morning and afternoon, because just near the house, it's it's Julie's is there. But uh, anyway, on my on my worry uh, question, no, it's it's those are the things that that keeps me up at night. No, um, how, what will I do to make sure that transition will be uh, easy? For my my son and my my daughter, so yon sir Butch, uh, Gio, and I hope uh, Gio can give us some tips as well. No, those are the things yeah. that.
Because siguro, uh, I'm sure your dad, Opep, and your grandma, and your granddad gave you tips that you still uh, are, are still remembering. Ano ba yung mga tips na, na, na you can remember pa, Gio? Um, let me see tips that I remember. Well, from my grandmother naman, my Lola Julie, she always um, emphasized about the community. So giving, giving to the community. And I think that's what really built uh, Julie's, no? Because we are a neighborhood bake shop. We have been a neighborhood bake shop ever since. And without the communities around us, um, Julie's wouldn't be what it is today. So I think that's what I've learned, and that's really our approach. No? Um, it's not just our customers, of course, but it's really our, uh, our partners, our suppliers, our franchisees, and of course, our employees. So those are really the communities that drive us uh, to, to do better every day. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have second thoughts about joining the company? I mean, nasa US ka na. I mean, you're there, you're comfortable. Uh, you can all settle there yourself, no? But uh, what made you join Julie's anyway, uh, Gio? Uh, I came back, yeah, when I came back, I said my background was in finance. So um, I, I, I had a choice whether to join within Julie's and or look for uh, a, a position in finance um, here in Cebu or either in Manila. But um, I think I joined at the right time also because we were transitioning into a, a more solid organization, I think you'd say it. Um, we were on the verge of you know, professionalizing. I think most family businesses reach that point where you have to professionalize, your business starts growing bigger. Um, and so the structures were we're sort of coming into place. So I saw it as an opportunity. Um, you know, this is the right time to join the business. And this is also an avenue for me to learn. Mm. So yeah, maganda, no? because uh, this is what we are saying now, Kernan, that what can the third generation contribute? And that's exactly what Gio is saying. Correct. Now. In the right time, and because of his expertise in finance, was able to contribute. I mean, that's how... Kasi meron kasi yung ganyan eh. Meron tayong... Uh, I don't know, Gio, if you learned about the generation syndrome, no? Parati ka natin, yeah. rat, rat, yeah. natin sinasabi yun, di ba? The first generation daw starts the business, right? Your grandparents, tita, mm -hmm. tita Jigs and tita Julie. In yeah. fact, your tita Julie, uh, tita Julie, I call her, because uh, your grandma wrote a book Yes, and she did. hang on to that book, Gio, because that book is so precious and it's not made to the public. And I yes. got a copy. My wife and I got a copy of it. Uh, and that's one of the memorabilia na, na ginawa niya. And also, the second generation expands the business. Now, the third generation doubt, Kernan, anong nakita mo? Crossroads. You either I think make or yeah. break the business. But I think Gio is on the right track. Diba? Kumbaga sa golf, he's focused. <laughs> you think that? Diba? Para bang... Uh, yeah. So, yun ang ano. Ano ang uh, natatandaan mo when you were a small kid? Because you grew up literally in Julie's. Yes. Uh, what were you seeing when you were still a child? Were you playing in the bake shop and the bake shop of your dad who was his first franchisee? Yeah. I remember as a kid... Um, Obviously, my dad would bring me to the office sometimes. Um, back then, in our previous home, um, at the back of our home, that's where we actually make some of our products for, for my dad's stores. So I would always go to the kitchen and I'd see them making mga halo halo and all these other small products, right? So I, I really remember that. Um, our office also was pretty close to a golf course that time so i remember before the tournament my dad would stop by the office for a bit <laughs> i'd sit down in his office before going to the golf course so um and i think i there was also one summer yeah there was one summer i was mga seven or eight years old i actually went to the bake shop uh every day for two weeks and started wrapping mga breads in in, in packages um yeah just for just for two weeks i think in one summer yeah, because I remember your dad, yeah, your dad instituted the summer camp for the kids. 
uh, the, the, yeah. the Jonko kid, right? You had the summer camp where yeah. you work, you work in the kitchen, although not really baking at that so much, but you know, you were trying to, in, they were trying to inculcate in you uh, the value of uh, Julie's at that time. And I think they're, your dad be successful on that, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. In the man. Um, we were definitely exposed to the business very early. And I think that's what really sparked our interest. So, yan, uh, uh, Kernan, yun ang dapat mong gawin, Kernan, paano yan? Curious, curious, Gio. How, how many uh, of the family members are now working uh, under your company? Um, like, like, is it like... Uh, is it required that all of your brothers and sisters should be working or uh, is it like a portion or is there a rule right now that you have uh, set up uh, among your your family um no na man actually the the thing is we we weren't really forced into it no i think that's the critical part um we obviously all all three of us say we're four siblings and three of us are in the business right now so all of us actually expressed our interest to join um, and all of us had experience working outside. I think that's uh, that's one of the critical points there is that we we experienced naman working outside in, in other organizations to really learn, right? Um, and then before coming coming and joining Julie's. Let's talk about uh, Julie's as a company. Um, you've been in franchising for quite some time now, uh, Gio. What do you think? Uh, why should people really get Julie's franchise, even if it's just 40 years uh, uh, in business right now? What do you see as a young man? Yeah. Well, like you said, 40 years. So we've been around for quite a long time already. And bread is really a staple for Filipinos. No, It, it doesn't really leave the Filipino household. Like what Kernan was saying, the morning and afternoon, that's really the regular uh, bread schedule for for Filipinos and um, we've been around for for 40 years and we've really stood the test of time you know, we, we like to say we've been through you know catastrophic typhoon events through earthquakes and even right now you know, we're still under a pandemic but um, somehow we always prevail and I think it's because of also our communities you know, and, and bread is really close to the heart of, of the Filipino people so um, that's why franchising with Julius is really a, a good opportunity. And even at 40 years, we are still very active, very, very focused on providing obviously the best product quality and service to all our customers. And of course, the, the highest support, well, the highest standard of support to all our franchisees uh, around the country. So yeah, uh, Kernan, dapat kumuha ka na ng franchise niyan dahil taga Cebu ka, magkakamaktan at marami kang pwedeng paglagyan. Uh, but uh, you're coming up now with your special promo. What What is this promo that I heard uh, about Julie's? Yeah, so we have the 40 at 40 uh, promo for franchising this year. So as a promo, like for 40th year, we're offering a 40,000 peso franchise fee only. Um, this is actually a, a 260,000 peso savings to the overall franchise package that we normally offer uh, for this year only for, for 40 at 40. 40 at 40. Irresistible. Yeah, nga sinasabi na life begins at 14, di ba, Kernan? Na, 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 yeah, yeah, you know, ano, uh, Sir Butch, uh, Gio, I, 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 I agree with Gio earlier na uh, Julie's uh, really... As to the, you know, the, the test of time, no, because it's a staple food uh, by Filipinos. Na even the poorest of the poor would buy bread for just more or less five pesos. That would uh, already, uh, kumbaga, pantawid gutom na agad eh, for a breakfast or a lunch, even for dinner. No, I'm not saying that's uh, already the the complete meal, but I'm just saying that it it helps a lot. That you see a Julie's bake shop, no, just around the corner. In fact, when I buy bread, um, just to ano, just to share this, uh, when when somebody asks for, let's say, uh, help, no, uh, kids or or somebody else na needs help, I go to the uh, when I uh, sinasabay ko, no, I go to the cashier, just give how much bread that this guy wants, no. 
So so I pay for that, no? It's it's uh, well, I I I'd have to say I a heart of a Rotarian, it's it's <laughs> it's part of me to serve. But uh because of how Julie's are set up, the pricing structure, mm-hmm. affordability, it will stand the test of time even for any pandemic and it's the best time to get a franchise from Julie's, no? In my opinion, uh, t- very timely. Importante kasi dyan, I think it's basically what uh, Tita Julie did. Eh. Um, you know, Tita Julie's history is so interesting. She was not, she's not a baker, right, Gio? Yeah, actually, she's not a baker. What? She's not a baker. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Did, did you know that even that, that logo of that young girl, who's that young girl, Gio? Tita Julie. <laughs> oh, see, it, alam mo, Tita Julie is a mestiza, okay? And the children realized, teka, merong maganda, maganda si mami, di ba? Uh, yung kala ka asinaiba, caricature, no. It's a picture of the of Julie's, uh, Tita Julie Gajongko, when she was young. But there are also niches, no? Alam mo, sa franchising, uh, Kernan, meron yung tinatawag na unique selling proposition. And uh, number one sa kanila is, Hot bread every hour. You still do that, Gio, right? You don't break. You don't bake bread too many for the whole day, right? You do. The, you, you don't do that, right? Yeah, we still uh, we still offer hot bread. Every store offers hot bread every hour. So I think actually um, that's really the Filipino, no, the Filipino taste. Whenever they come in, uh, most of the time they ask what's hot. Obviously. Yeah. They look for their their favorites, but if voila, they get whatever is hot and fresh. You know, you know that the favorite the bread I I like for so Julius is the Spanish bread. Spanish. <laughs> oh, my favorite, grabe, with and, with with a hot uh, uh brood. Yeah. Yeah. Good combo. Nakita mo ba yung bread na ganon? Ano yung bread na yon, Aji? Ano yung bread na ganon? Uh, yeah. the, ano yung bread na nakaganon na only Julie's you'll find this only at Julie's which is uh, named after Elorde di ba? Elorde ano ba uh, yun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out yung shape oh, yeah, yeah. it's a boxer shape and yeah. then also the cheese bread okay the cheese bread that's that's what the signature kasi ng Tita Julie yeah Hot bread every hour, neighborhood. Uh, tapos, uh, open kitchen. Diba? Open, diba? Hindi nyo na, hindi oh, nakatakas. Yeah, na yeah kitang-kita yung, ano, yung, sa, yung baker na area. It's, it's so clean. That's why, uh, ano eh, it's, saan ka bibili ng pan? No, in, in Bisaya, no? You buy pan, dun sa, ano, sa talagang, kita mo yung malinis, kita mo yung, saan ginagawa yung, yung bread. I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Because yes, Tita Julie uh, is very stickler for innovation. Na. Dito yung one of the things I think yeah, you realize with your grandma and uh, the children your father uh, took over is that ensuring cleanliness at the same time quality all the way. Di ba? Yun ang, yun ang importante, no? Yeah. So, uh, so Gio, yung, uh, ano yung mga takeaways na pwede mong gawin ngayon sa mga, mga, ba, mga young people who are, who are supposed to take over the family business or those who are undergoing transition? Can you give us at least mga ilang mga tips? Yeah. Um, siguro the first tip, obviously, would be uh, decide what do you really want? Um, if you're interested in the business, then well and good. If not, then that's okay. Um, no one's really forcing you. You shouldn't be forced to come into the business as well. No? Um, but once you're in the business, the second takeaway, Siguro, would be to learn. Learn as much as you can and ask questions all the time. I think, um, you know, no matter how many years you are in the business, you'll always have to learn something learn more things no uh, i think that's the that's the most important you know, mindset is to always have that growth mindset that you know 
um, the more I learn, the more I'll be better. I'll be better tomorrow, I'll be better next year. And of course, lastly, would always be to, to persevere. You know? um, there will be times where you don't know what's happening. You don't know what you're, what, if what you're doing is actually on the right track. But uh, it's always good to just persevere and, and think about you know, what your purpose is within the, within the organization. And I think that will lead you to, to, to be successful in the future. Yeah, from a young man, um, it takes somebody like Gio's age to really say those things. No, because many kasi ngayon mga young people, uh, they don't see the value, they don't see the diamond in their family's business. You know, yung ay yoko nyan, because ano lang kami bakery hindi. But look at Gio, persevere. Uh, if you cannot understand, you ask questions. You know. And uh, yeah, we'd like to say hello to Keith Barca Bacaltos, Keith, uh, and to Jay Ferolino, uh, who's also watching. And also, a lot of people are watching our, our Facebook Live and YouTube. Uh, ganon. Uh, iba nagtatanong dito, ano raw ang uh, level mo na raw sa golf? Sabi na iba, ba na, punta na naman tayo sa golf. Handicap. Handicap, handicap, ano raw? Apparently, my handicap is for... Oh, bakit napa napangiti ka diyan, Kernan? Ma, uh, ano na 'yan eh, talagang bihasaan na eh. Mga ganyan, the, low, the lower it is as far as I know, it's uh, the better. <laughs> okay. And uh, so looking forward, Gio, uh where do you see Julius now after this 40th year? Uh what is what are the plans now? You're coming up with Every milestone, because I keep up on. You have corporate social responsibilities. Uh, you have reseller program. Then you have now forty at forty. What are now the future plans? Near the near near future plans. Yeah. The, well, obviously, um, one 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 you know, plan is obviously to, sur to survive this pandemic. I think like all companies, you not know, to really get past that. Past that, uh, cross the bridge of survival of the pandemic. But at the same time, we're really focused on um, one is really franchising. Of course, we want to grow our network of franchisees, um, especially with the new package that we're offering this year. No? Um, and of course, innovation. I think we've 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 talked a lot about innovation within the company. Although we still are, you know, a neighborhood bake shop, we we still offer the same breads. But we're looking to reach our customers in new ways. No? Um, like you mentioned, what's our reseller program, our Julie's Delivers. Um, we partnered also with other platforms no, to, to reach our customers in new ways. So those are some of the things that we're really focused on moving forward. And, uh, oh, Kernan, ano naman ang iyong takeaway sa'yo? Uh, learning from our golfer, Third generation uh, guest, Gio. Well, uh, I, I learned a lot. One thing that I learned from Gio, no, uh, the third gen of uh, Julie's, is professionalize the business. It's one, one big, big um, lesson I, I learned today. Uh, I, I guess making sure to set the processes early. And uh, when the time comes, perhaps the next generation would uh, come in uh, hindi na mahirap no it's not hard anymore for them to to adapt on the whatever we have set up early on as first gen entrepreneurs so so i hope i'm crossing my fingers i would do that soon in my businesses and uh, thank you so much Gio, for for the great tips no i really appreciate your time and see you soon when i get there in cebu so you yeah. love you you love your uh, golf session with Gio when you get back to Cebu, huh? Nako, may ini si Gio sa akin sa kanya pag ano na experience yeah, rin nako. <laughs> <laughs> Gio, one last thing: where can when can people get in touch with those people interested in getting a franchise, Gio? Oh yeah, sure. Um, you can visit our website juliesbakeshop.com.ph. Or you can also visit our Facebook page. No? So we have all the details in terms of franchising over there. You can message us directly also on Facebook and on um, Instagram as well.
Alam mo, may personal question dito, pero shall, shall I ask uh, Kernan? Kaya nakahihiya ako na, na nahihiya ako. May nagtatanong kasi, uh, Gio, are you taken na raw? Ayaw ko, ano ba ibig sabihin ng taken? Kernan o Gio? May nagtanong ba? <laughs> that's, that's for Gio to answer, no? Yeah, I'm happily taken. Uh, okay, guys. Oh, uh, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, girls. Sorry. Sorry. You know, you always have to have a super golfer, but he's always taken. Okay, so at least that answers. Nakon daming, ang daming iiyak. Okay. So, uh, but eh, meron pa isa nagtanong. Is Gio also going to be a celebrity? Joining the celebrity world? Wow. O giging artista ka raw, pwede bro. Hindi, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's far from ano, my imagination. <laughs> Alwa, okay. So ayan, wala na ha, mga producers na kaibigan natin dyan. Si Gio po ay focus sa Julie's. At magagalit si Tita Julie pag iyan eh, nawala sa kanyang uh, linya ng management. Okay, guys. So anyway, I'd like to thank you, Gio, and uh, especially your dad, Ope, for allowing us to interview you the third generation and all the insights that you have given us today will matter a lot no and by the way for those who were not able to watch this you will have a replay and if you have questions on franchising just go to their website that is julie's uh in facebook and any anything else or email address uh geo um juliesbakeshop.com.ph on your website and all the details are there you can message us directly there yeah that should be enough now uh, that's good that's good and more power to julies and we hope we will see a fourth generation naman ako ang ganda nito pag may fourth generation no in coming more no? power more power so it's really a legacy of tita julie because i remember clearly when uh, she told my wife and i sabi niya you know, I want to build Julie's Bake Shop not for her children, but for her grandchildren and also to leave a legacy. And I think Tita Julie is now realizing the dream with Gio and her sisters on board. Okay? So again, thank you very much, Julie's Thanks. Bake Shop, to everybody out there. Thank you for watching uh, Usapang Business. And next week, our talk will be uh, a review of what happened to Usapang Business for after uh, eight sessions. Okay, eight sessions. Exciting, exciting. Exciting. Okay.